Yeah, we live. And I don't and want this dribble walking down. I'm surprised we ain't seen him. Oh, we still got people on the phone. I know. Like, I can't like keep looking at him. He's awesome. And then we need to get a big conversation next to him. So I'm Go ahead. We have no water. <laughs> Better yet, you should hop in and get some real water. Hey, stop putting your phone over there before you slip. And that's it for that phone. Go ahead then. It's not bad at all, sister. <laughs> Yeah, some of the members of the NIBPA family, we out here at the Detroit River Walk on the Detroit River. For those of y'all who know your Underground Railroad history, you know that many of our ancestors struggled, fought, and many died attempting to get to this point right here, the Detroit River, so they could cross on over to Canada. All of those lights you're looking at, that's Canada on the other side of the Detroit River. So millions of our ancestors, at least thousands, tens of thousands, I would at least uh, guesstimate, jumped into this water seeking their freedom. Naked, babies, elders, youth, Queen Mother Harriet Tubman with them for many trips, and then of course other conductors of the Underground Railroad who were seeking freedom. So you can imagine what it must have been like to run from slavery all the way from Mississippi, all the way from Georgia, all the way from the Carolinas, and of course even in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York when slavery was still legal there, and fight and hustle and bustle and tussle and struggle to get up here to the Detroit River, especially during winter time. You might take your chances when it's warm outside, but what do you do during the winter? when the water is ice freezing and the boat that was supposed to take you over to Canada to be arranged by the slave conductors did not show up on time. And you got the slave trackers and the bloodhounds 10 minutes behind you, what do you do? Do you jump into this water or do you turn back and go back to slavery or to a possible immediate death for trying to escape? So we, we here to pay homage to the ancestors before tomorrow's National Independent Black Parent Association National Leadership Training Conference. Brothers and sisters are still registering. Okay, still registering. So we're going to have a strong turnout tomorrow. Positive energy, positive love, positive vibrations. But I just wanted to come and honor the ancestors tonight. Because I know many of our ancestors lay at the bottom of this river. I know their bones are at the bottom of this river. Okay, even those who made it successfully, I know that their energy still permeates this river because this in another way this could be considered the gateway to freedom this river the Detroit River and this wasn't the only river but it's one of the major rivers this river the Detroit River here in Detroit Michigan could be considered the gateway to freedom this was the gateway to freedom this river is about a mile and a half in width now that might not seem like a lot to you, but could you imagine having to swim a mile and a half? And from what I've read, a lot of our ancestors didn't make it because they were never taught how to swim. They were never taught how to swim. Now, if you were first generation enslaved African, you were taught how to swim back in Africa in the village. But if you were second, third generation African in America, how could you learn how to swim? You was on a plantation. You was picking cotton, sugar cane, rum. You wasn't picking water crops. Now, some of us were used to make boats and that type of thing. Y'all know that my great ancestor, Frederick Douglass, he was used to caulk the ships and that type of thing. But there's no evidence he was even taught how to swim. 
So, so many of us perished in the waters and passed away seeking freedom because we did not know how to swim. And that's, that's facts. That's facts right there. That's facts. And we got a full moon, which is divine feminine energy. Then we got the river, so called the Orishas, Olokun, owner of all water, obviously, Oshun. But of course, we go back to Africa, most of the female deities were water deities. Oya is a water deity back home. Yemoja is a river deity back home as well. So we call on all the Orishas, all the female ancestors. Okay, it's, it's amazing because when we walked up, some of the brothers and sisters said that as soon as I start talking about the ancestors, the water start beating up against the wall. They said, as soon as you start talking about the ancestors, the water start beating up against the wall. So the ancestors are there, brothers and sisters. That's why you got to pour that libation. Pour some of that ocean out. See, water is all from the ocean. It all comes from the same place. So when you pour that libation, you're pouring ocean water onto land. Very powerful. Very powerful, something that we have to do. So we just out here, we just had dinner, beautiful restaurant, you know, black owned, trying to keep it black owned. You know what I mean? And um, for those of you who couldn't make it to this Midwest regional training, this is our fourth one. Hopefully y'all can make the next one. The next one is either going to be in, it's going to be Southeast. So that could be North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, or Florida. So hopefully y'all can make the next one. But the Underground Railroad was a hell of a thing, brothers and sisters. I don't think we realized that Underground Railroad was a scary reality. And I know many of y'all have seen the show called The Underground on TV, but that show called The Underground on TV doesn't even begin to compare to the real story. Okay. Dr. Umar, when are you going to do a Brothers Only Breakfast in New York? That's not a bad idea. A brother's only breakfast in New York. That's not a bad idea. I think I need to do that. I think I need to do that. I'm going to start working on that. Y'all see the moon. And you know, divine female synchronicity is something else. Divine female synchronicity. Because you know what they say, right? Women are so in touch with rhythm and each other. That if all of y'all moved into the same house, if all of y'all will start getting y'all menstruals at the same time, I think it takes about a year. No, it'll take that long. It'll take probably it, a couple yeah. months. Three months max. Yeah. Don't take that long. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and for everyone, so for women, the menstruals will line up. But for everybody living in the same house, normally the heartbeat. Synchron yeah. Yeah. If you live in a house with folks and you've been living with a while, see if your heartbeat are beating on the same on the same beat. Everything flows together. So if everything flows together and black people hate each other. <laughs> so we know some some unnatural shit going on. <laughs> Tyreek going for a swim. I'm working on that Charlotte venue. I'm working on that Charlotte. I'm overdue for Charlotte. I know. Damn, somebody going to drive into the river? That's the casinos. So hold tight. Them casinos over there, that's not, that's not. Now, I know this is Canada here, but is that Canada? Yeah, that's all Canada. The Caesars and all that. Yep, that's Canada. So most of the major casinos in Detroit is on the Canada side. No, our casinos are over here. But y'all got the Caesars and all that too. No, that's 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 Canada. Okay, so y'all don't have the same ones. Right, we got MGM, Greektown, and Motor City. Okay, okay, okay. They got Caesars. Caesars and nineteen-year-olds can drink. That's crazy. Brothers and sisters, make sure y'all join us in Nat Turner Land, August the 21st of 2017. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is putting the call out, Nat Turner Land, August the 21st of 2017. 
myself and Baba Khalifa, we will be celebrating the life and times of the Honorable Reverend General Nat Turner. So make sure y'all come on down. It will be our first total solar eclipse since 1997. Our first total solar eclipse since 1997. Nat Turner Land, Virginia is going to be off the chain. And if you sexually confuse, I don't think you'll be allowed. Because Nat Turner wasn't, he didn't do that. No disrespect, but y'all might got to do your own thing.